Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making one of my personal favorites and that is beef skirt fajitas. Y'all, I love, love, love fajitas. You know, I've told you a couple of times, I lived in Houston for almost 40 years before moving back home to Alabama and I learned a few things about making good Mexican food and I wanna share that with you. Now, before I get started on our marinade for these fajitas, I want to tell you about the fajitas themselves. I'm using a skirt steak and I'm using about a pound in this recipe and I've trimmed my skirt steak just a little bit. Now, you're going to have a good bit of marbling and some fat, but if you see any pieces that are really large, um, just go ahead and trim all of those off. Very easy, easy, easy to do. Now let's talk about the marinade. I've got my plastic bag. I love a good plastic bag in the kitchen. And to this, I'm adding a half of a cup of oil. You can use olive oil, you can use vegetable, canola, just whatever it is that you like to cook with. And to this oil, I've got a quarter cup of lime juice. Now you can fresh squeeze your limes or you can use the bottled lime juice, which is what I did for this recipe. It works just fine. Now I've got something that you might not think comes into play with Mexican food. This is some low sodium soy sauce and y'all this makes all the difference in the world. This adds the salty, briny, just good taste. And it's very subtle in this recipe. It's not dominant, but believe me when I say it makes a huge difference. And restaurants all over Texas that make the best fajitas I've ever had in my life put this soy sauce in their marinade. Mm-hmm, a quarter cup. And that's going right in. It's hard to believe that there's soy sauce in this, but I can't wait until you try it yourself because you are going to love it just like I do. Now I've got my seasoning and I've got a tablespoon of chili powder. I've got a teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of garlic powder, and then a half teaspoon of cumin powder, and that's going right in. Now, I'm gonna close my bag and just blend this together. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. That garlic and cumin and chili powder, yum. Now, this skirt steak is going right into my marinade. And once again, I'm gonna close my bag and I'm gonna push out most all of the extra air that's in there and just seal it off. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and massage my beef. Show my skirt steak a little love. That's it. Now, this is going into my refrigerator for up to two hours or as little as 30 minutes. Now, because of the lime juice, you really don't want this to stay in your refrigerator for more than two hours because it's gonna start breaking down that beef. And we wanna add flavor and we definitely want to tenderize it, but we don't want it to start breaking down. So not more than two hours. And while this is marinating, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my vegetables that's going with these delicious fajitas. It's time to cook up these fajitas. Now I have a cast iron skillet on medium high heat. And really this is more on high heat than it is on medium. And this has been heating up for probably two to three minutes. I want this scorching hot. Now I've removed my skirt steak from the marinade, but I've saved back just a little bit. And I blotted this skirt steak with a paper towel just to get off the excess marinade. Now, I wanna add just a little bit of kosher salt. 
Ooh, look how that pan is smoking. That's exactly what we want. Now I've got a couple of different pieces in here, but I'm going to cook the thickest piece first. And this is going into a dry skillet, no oil. Here we go. That is just the sound that I like to hear. Oh my goodness, I feel like I have just stepped into a high-end Mexican restaurant. This smells amazing. Mm. I'm going to cook this for about three minutes on each side. That's all going to depend on the thickness of your beef. But for this, I can tell five, six minutes tops and we'll be good to go. Now, let's just lift this up and see how we're doing. Oh my goodness. Y'all, does that look good or what? I'm going to go ahead and pull it mm. Yum. And now, I'm going to add this other piece. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. You want your fajitas to sear really nicely and not boil or steam. Now, this little piece is ready. Now, I'm just going to put this in my bowl to rest. And let's see how we're doing with this. Oh, my goodness. See, that color is flavor. You want that nice, dark sear and char on there because, oh, it's just so, so good. Can you tell I'm getting excited? And that's ready to come off. And this looks perfect. Oh my goodness. Yum. <laughs> now I'm going to just let these rest and tint them with tin foil. I'm gonna turn this heat down just a tiny bit and I'm gonna add some oil to my pan. Next, I've cut up some onion and some bell pepper. Use whatever color bell pepper that you like. And here we go. Oh my goodness. Now I'm just gonna give these a little stir and I'm gonna add just a pinch of kosher salt. I want these to char up. Mm. Those onions get nice and sweet and tender. Now I'm going to let these cook for a good five minutes. Really, it's all in what you like. If you like your onion with a little bit of bite to them, then take them off earlier. If you like them nice and sweet like I do, then cook them a little bit longer. Look at these beautiful peppers and onions. This is perfection for me. And these have cooked maybe five minutes. Now I'm going to take my marinade that I reserved and this is going right into my peppers and onions. Now that delicious marinade is going to cook into these and I'm going to cook this for maybe another minute or two. I really want that sauce or that marinade to evaporate and just leave that delicious flavor with the peppers and onions. Let's talk about these fajitas. Yum! I'm going to go ahead and lay this on my cutting board. I'm going to cut this in half because I'm going to cut these against the grain. So here we go. And look at this. Isn't that perfectly beautiful? Mm, mm, mm. Now again, we're cutting it against the grain. And the grain, if you can see, is running this way. So, I'm going to start cutting against that. 
these are cooked perfectly. Oh. Now, before I finish cutting these fajitas, I'm sorry, but I have just got to taste it. Y'all, that is spectacular. I assure you, if you make them just like I told you to, you will have the best fajitas anywhere. I'll put them up against any restaurant any day. They just don't get any better. These are going right on top of these delicious peppers and onions. Mm. Don't these look beautiful and last? And y'all, this is it. This is all there is to making the best fajitas that you'll ever have. Now my family is ready to eat. I've got some flour tortillas, some cheese and guacamole, some sour cream. Gotta have sour cream with your fajitas. All ready to go. All I need to add is this. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Will you press that like button and share this with your friends? They need to know the secret to making great fajitas too. Well, dinner is served. I'll see you next time.